Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I am going to show you how to connect SQL Server with Power BI. So to connect SQL Server, we will go to Get Data section and here you can see some common data sources and here you can see SQL Server. So you can click here and it will open a pop-up. So we have to fill some details here. It's asking for server, database, which is optional. So to get the server details, I will open SSMS, which is SQL Server Management Studio. And as soon as you open this, you can see a pop-up called connect to server. So you can see the server name. You can copy this name from here. And if you don't get this pop-up, what you can do is, you can go to connect database engine and then you can copy the server name from here. Now go to Power BI and I will fill the server details. Now it, it's asking me for the database name from where I want to fetch the tables. And so I will connect and here I have the databases. I will connect to the Adventure Works 2019. So I will write Adventure Works 2019. Now it's asking data connectivity mode, which is giving two options, import or direct query. So in the import mode, the data will be imported and it will be loaded to the Power BI data model. Whereas in direct query mode, the data will not be loaded to the Power BI data model. It will be there in the SQL server itself. It will only load the metadata. That is the column names, table details. So here I will select import mode and then you have some advanced options. In the advanced options, we have command timeout in minutes. So here we have to fill the timeout in minutes. How much time Power BI will wait till the connection is established with the SQL server. And if it is not established, the connection will fail. Then we have SQL statements. If you want to write queries instead of fetching the whole table, you can do that. You can uh, add the limited columns in the SQL query and then load that. Now, if I click on OK, from here, you can select the tables, whichever you want. For now, I will select this sales store and uh, load this table. So the table is loaded. So I will come here to the SQL server and here I have the sales store table. Uh, let's open a new query. And uh, I will drag the table here and I will write select star from this table click f5 and it's showing me the column detail now i don't want this demographic column i don't want this row gyd so i don't want all the columns from this table so for that i will write a query saying business entity id name salesperson id and modify date so if i execute this i want only four columns in this table so i will copy this query and uh, go to transform data and here in the source uh, click on the gear icon and go to advanced option and in the SQL statement, I will paste the query and click on OK. See, we have only four columns now. So this is how we import data from SQL Server. So that was it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If, if you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.